my channel. In this video, file card design using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, which contains an image at the top, some data, Twitter status with follow button below it. For code, you can visit my code pen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my code pen profile. Code pen is an online editor where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. And check out the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Now let's get started with the HTML structure. Here I'm going to divide the HTML structure into three parts. And I'm going to style them one at a time to avoid the confusion. First, let's create the wrapper div element with container and image in it. And add the profile image class to the image. Open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm going to use the Josephine font family. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Now set the background color and font family to the body. Here sans serif is the second font family, in a case if the browser doesn't support the Josephine font family. Now place the wrapper development in the center of the browser by setting its position value to the absolute, which is relative to the body, and set its top and left values to 50%. And we can clearly see that. The wrapper div element is not placed exactly in the center due to negative margins. To remove the negative margin, we can use the translate method of the transform property. Now style the basic things of the container. and set its position value to the relative, so that we can place its child element accordingly. Here the child element is profile image, and give the box shadow effect to the container. Now style and place the image at the top of the container. First, set the width, height and make the round image using the border radius property. And set the position value to the absolute, which is relative the container and using the top and left values to place it in the top center of the container. and set the 5 pixels solid border. Gave the body color to the border, so that we get the effect. Now let's get back to the HTML structure. Create the content and sub-content developments, inside the sub-content development. 
set the data. Now inside the span element add the location icon, which we can see in the demo. Here I am going to use the Font Awesome icons. Font Awesome is an open source site for free icons. For using the Font Awesome icons, first, we need to include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML document. First, open Font Awesome website that navigates to icons, then search for icons whichever you want, including that element into your HTML structure. As the content is hiding behind the image, use the padding property to place the content below the image. Give the more padding top value. And place the content in the center. Style the H1 tag by making the text to uppercase and increase the font size and change the color of the text. Now decrease the font size and change color of the span elements. style the P element, by giving the margin top value and setting the font weight. Now style the icon, by increasing icon size and giving some gap between the icon and text. Now change the color of the anchor element. Now let's go back to the HTML structure and create the development with class data, 
Within that consider the three inner data developments with Twitter status and font awesome icons in it. Now style the data development, by setting the width and margin. Use the overflow hidden property to avoid the collapsing of the data development. Now set the equal width and float to the inner data elements to left and align them in the center. Increase the icon size, set the margin bottom and change its color. Create the button development and style it. By clearing the floats, text align center is used to place the text horizontally in the center. and line height is for the placing the text vertically in the center. Use the text shadow effect to the text. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section.
See you in another video.